была озвучена информация. There has been information that the two first courses are easily recommendable as a basic minimum to anybody wishing to improve their quality of life. Not so long ago, it was being said in a discussion on the forum that the school system has to be worked through entirely in order to avoid throwbacks and worsening the aforementioned quality of life. If we assume that a person is not particularly concerned about anything but the standard set of qualities and has decided to take the first two courses for health reasons and stop there, are there going to be any negative consequences? Or will the augmented amount of energy only increasingly feed the previous attitudes and therefore it is unwise to recommend and support this kind of attempts? Is there any level of the main department that is like a fixed asset after which a person can make a break without damage for themselves? And which potential consequences can be forecast for the students that have taken the first and second elements courses but did not go on further? What can, in perspective, happen with such a partially transformed consciousness? <clears throat> the first and the second courses are indeed the basic minimum for any consciousness. Unless this consciousness is under religious pressure. In this case, it has nothing to seek even in the first course. Just keep this in mind. But if the given consciousness wishes to find a way, not through a divine miracle, but by means of its own mind, its own time and own power, then the first two courses are truly suggested. During the second course, when a release of astral energy takes place, it will ask for an outcome. And the person can, and very probably his subconscious will, along with the existing structure of the consciousness, direct it towards those goals that lay on its surface. And these goals will naturally be achieved with greater success than before. This is a natural process. If a person's goal is health, then it will be health. If it's wealth, then wealth, or whatever is the most pronounced aspect in their vector that is so well manifested during the second course. For what concerns the complete course, which means following all of the lessons of the first and second courses entirely, it is surely necessary for those who want to move ahead. In this case, once you reach the third course, the vectors of intentions will be formed in a completely different manner, which means that a lot of energy will be needed, way more than the amount that is released through the mere cleaning of the astral body, way more than the amount that is released through ex theoric exercises, way more. Respectively, all of the seminars are recommended. As an individual transitions to the second course, we likewise recommend and insist upon that all seminars of the second course are completed. Why is this needed? Because the second course is also energy consuming. And the etheric body, should it be unprepared, should it not be filled with a sufficient amount of energy, and should it be incapable of quickly letting pass this energy through, which means that the passing capacity of the etheric body has to be increased substantially, then it will be very difficult to cleanse the astral body. You probably have read on the forum and other students told you how hard it is to cleanse when the energy lasts for half of a year at most, after what they feel drained. This is a sign of when in the etheric body there is little energy. If to go further, well, the person will decide for themselves. We will not in any case ever insist upon it. But if this decision is made, then the rules remain the same. All of the energy from the previous course has to be gathered and directed into the following course. Otherwise it will not be enough, and this means that the effect will not be satisfactory. Now, for what concerns the elements course, the first and the second one. Each of the courses on elements, just as those of the main course, are absolutely self-sufficient and do not require in any case to be prolonged. Another matter is that after passing the second course, after conducting all of these field studies, we do successfully shape experience for ourselves, the experience of differently perceiving and evaluating the surrounding reality. Namely, we begin to measure it differently. It is always quite a shame not knowing how to apply these new measures, where to apply these benefits to, if not to mere everyday life effects. 
Although some are more than happy with those kind of results. Therefore, the third course is not as mandatory as to say that if you don't pass the third course, then the knowledge from the first and second one will be lost. Nothing will be lost, everything will remain. Transforming the consciousness in a magical way, as we do it during the third elements course, is not necessary for everyone. Some people need to firstly solve the social matters and go through all of the necessary social experiences. And only after this start thinking about magic. This is the reason why so few people in our third course have made it to the end. Namely, more than 50 individuals began the course and only 10 of them completed it. There you go, there is your statistic. And that's how it is usually. Although usually even fewer people make it to the end. It is those who really need magic. All of the others need to learn how to win within tradition, how to win within other systems without involving magic. As a colleague of mine has said, with magic anyone can do it. You try to do it without.